Well, we're going to thank Romeo for sitting down and chatting with us and send him on his way. He's going to get back to work right now. Let's pause for station identification. You are listening to Sink or Swim with Wes and M. Okay, and we're back. Uh, how was your trip, Marin? Drivable? I just start, a I, drivable trip? A drivable trip. I just like there were roads and everything? Yeah. Well, no, because I just I just started driving. Like, yesterday was the first time I actually, or, or the day before. No, yesterday, I think, was the first day I actually got out and uh, I, I drove my truck. So, um, and it's a stick. So, the, the you know, the clutch and everything. So, it's, it's you know, but I'm I'm getting used to it. I, think that's, I was, I actually walked yesterday a little bit and... Uh, I woke up this morning and it felt like I'd done like a thousand sit-ups. Because my natural, my, like my natural instinct, dude, is to just go. You know? I just want to go. Yeah. And I can't do that. This is one of those times where I have to, I literally have to restrict myself to what, to what I'm doing, you know? And not go with what I feel. But hopefully at the end of six weeks, I'll be back to my, to my A-game, you know? You'll be all right. You're on yeah. your way. Because I'm a survivor. <laughs> well, um, I've come up with a few uh, little game ideas and Marin has two so we'll probably be working them into the show. One idea I came up with called Say My Name. Say My Name. Marin and I will launch a few facts up into the air and whoever is in the room can throw out uh, guesses on who they think the person is. It will be just Marin and I today since uh, since our guest has left to go to work. Our guest is no longer here. It'll be just Marin and I playing against each other. So we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, we're going to trash it. And nobody will even hear this discussion. (laughs) Well, that's a load off of my mind. Fantastic. (laughs) So... Do you want to go first, Marin, or shall I? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go ahead and go first. Uh, how do you want to do this? We each read one, or do we? Yeah, let's go. You, me, you. Okay. My uh, this might be a dead giveaway, but I don't think so. My uh, mystery what was it guest or what would we call it mystery? Just say I like you are the person. Okay. <laughs> All right. My birth name was Farrakh Osara. Malcolm X. <laughs> no. I was born September 5th, 1946. Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> in Stonetown, Zanenbar, London, England. Jack the Ripper. This might be the giveaway. I died November 24th, 1991 at the age of 45. Kingston, London, England. United Kingdom. November 24th, 1991. My death. My occupation was a musician, a singer, a songwriter, and a record producer. Rodney James Dio? <laughs> no. Ozzy Osbourne? No. <laughs> Come on, that's obvious, man. Uh, I did vocals, I played piano, keyboards, and guitar. Eric Clapton. After I give this one to you, you're, you're, you're gonna fucking know it off the back. I know it already. This is a giveaway. One of my most famous songs was We Are the Champ. Freddie Mercury. There you go. I had to think of, I had to put other facts out there besides, because if I put the obvious ones out there, I mean, he's, he's so big, you know? It, it's it's just obvious, you know. It's like I said, the minute I said that, he's like, "Fucking, yeah, that's just it's so simple." So I had to, and like everything I read about him, you know, it's like fucking. The minute I say that, he's gonna know it. You know what I mean? So I had to try and keep it as simple as possible, you know, which is which is the obvious. Of the I game. would have gone with I have facial hair that could be likened to such famous people as Tom Selleck. <laughs> Um, I, I, Ned Flanders. I died of I died of AIDS one day after announcing I had AIDS. That's some heavy shit, dude. I would have said John Holmes or something. Yeah, but yeah, well, for as a musician, really. That's true. <laughs> I have a 14 inch penis, but it's not mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, the other. Oh, see, like the other things I would probably would have given it to too was. Uh, well, it says right here, Associated X. Montreal, uh, Cabell, and then Queen, which he's most famous for. Fuck, everybody knows him from Queen. And uh, a little fun fact, he used to wear, uh, he would wear boxing shoes on stage because he, he pranced around so much. And the boxing shoes he wore, they were like high tops. They supported his ankles a lot better. So that was just a little fun fact. So, okay. All right. I am most famous for producing and acting in a show involving Phil Hartman, Lawrence Fishburne. My producers assisting me were Rob Zombie and Dweezil Zappa. Musical credits 
to my show go to artists such as George Clinton and Danny Elf. Well, that's a lot to process. Phil Hartman. Or the only thing I could, the only show I would think of that's David Hartman would be uh, uh, David Spade. Maybe David Spade News Radio. If it's out, if it's, uh, Fishburn, Fishburn. So that's the guy from The Matrix, right? That's correct. The guy from The Matrix. Oh my God. Rob Zombie. Wow. Um, yeah, I need more information than that. Are you a magician or an actor? Or both? Double threat. I don't know. How should we do it? Should I say, should we go yes or no answers? Well, we're just basically, basically you're giving me information and I'm asking, I'm, as well as asking you questions. I'm not, not like I, I can, if I ask you a question, it's either a yes or no. Right. You know what I mean? But if you give me the information, then I get, I, 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 so I, ask I, me a yes or no question. Yeah. Are you an actor? Yes. Really? Are you a musician as well? No. Okay, so you're an act. Um, was this sitcom in the 90s? Probably late 80s, early 90s. Late 80s, early 90s. Oh, my God. Uh, you said Phil Hartman, so that has to do... Maybe someone was... Maybe somebody was Saturday Night Live. Chevy Chase? <laughs> wow, okay, give me some more information, man. Okay. Benicio Del Toro... Oh, wow. ...had his... Film debut in one of my movies. Benicio Del Toro has... Wait a minute. Benicio Del Toro. His first film where he played Duke the Dog-Faced Boy. Wow, that's heavy. I don't... Fuck, dude. So this this guy produced that movie then? Or he was in the movie? Probably a strong on both accounts. Phil Hartman. Bill Murray? <laughs> That sound that just brings me down when I hear that shit. Doesn't it? <laughs> it's so discouraging. Are you trying to break me? <laughs> I was also invo involved in the comedy, the improv comedy group, The Groundlings, where I met Phil Hartman for the first time. Jim Belushi? <laughs> wow, there could be a whole string of fuckers, dude. Steve Martin. And now I'm just naming off fucking Saturday Night Live characters, huh? <laughs> you are, but uh, or did you? Play? I never mentioned Saturday Night okay, Live. Okay, I know that's what, no, that's my next question. Did, or were you ever? Have you? Were you a, a member of the Saturday Night Live crew? <laughs> no. Okay, so that throws that out. Uh, were you? Did you ever appear? Well, that's fuck. That's too vague, too, huh? Did you ever appear on Saturday Night Live? <laughs> really. Oh, fucking, that don't help me any. <laughs> that don't help me none. I don't know if I fucking asked that shit. Um, let's limit the questions to benefiting you towards getting this answer. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> don't ask me questions that aren't going to help you find the answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you done it? Have you done any movies in the last year? Have you been in any movies in the last last year, the year of two thousand eleven and twelve? That I don't know. Probably no. In the last year, probably. Uh, your forte is I comedy. Had, I had a feature in Batman Returns. Jim Carrey. <laughs> Batman Returns. That's. Uh... And I did a voice in the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I'm stumped. That's just. And watch when you tell me, dude. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be so pissed oh, off. Oh, for sure. I'm gonna be so fucking pissed off, dude, because it, it's it's gonna be something that's just so. All right, fucking let's obvious. uh na let's uh whittle it down. Okay, now steer me towards the answer. <laughs> I played a character in the movie Pushing Daisies. I'm Blow, uh, huh? Blow. Johnny Depp. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, jo okay. Blow. And Mystery Men. Uh, Pee Wee Herman. That is really? correct, sir. You threw some shit out there, dude. I was like, what the fuck? Dad, can you believe Pee Wee's Playhouse had Phil Hartman, Lawrence Fishburne, Dweezil oh, Zappa, right. George Clinton, Danny Elfman, and Rob Zombie, of all people, involved uh, in the cast? Uh, uh, Fishburne was the fucking cowboy. That's correct. He was the cowboy in that. That's right. That is correct, sir. That is right. I just watched the TV Land Awards about maybe four or five months ago, maybe longer. Uh, and they talked about that because they gave, I guess they gave Pee Wee an award, a Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, which just goes to show everybody loves a comeback. That was cool. I like that. That was kind of... it's the wall. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of funny because... because uh, I was going to mention Tim Burton as soon as I mentioned Tim Burton. No, you know what, connected that you know what got me? When you mentioned Blow. Oh. 
What got me was when you mentioned blow. I'm like, wait a minute, okay, there's yeah, no like a two minute part in that. No, he had a few he had a few scenes in it. He played the bartender, didn't he? No, he played the drug dealer. It's just business, George. Who played the bartender? He takes he takes George's customer. He takes George he knocks out George and fucking goes straight through him to the to the hierarchy. Oh. To get the drugs. No, he played a he played a nice he played a nice role. Okay. One of the famous one of the famous lines in that is he says, Hey hey uh uh, what's his name in the movie? Uh, uh, I don't know. Pharrell, I think. Pharrell. And he tells him, hey, am I wearing lipstick? He plays it straight, though, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Completely straight. Yeah, he says, am I wearing lipstick? He goes, am I, he goes, what? He goes, am I wearing lipstick? He goes, what do you mean? He says, well, I want to know when I'm, I want to know if I look good while I'm getting fucked. Yeah. So that was like one of the famous lines in that movie. But that was interesting. I like that. I like that concept because you know what? We can, you can, you can give somebody so much information doing that, you know? There's a give and take there, you know? I like that. that was a, that was a pretty cool little a little skit there. Cool. <laughs> wow, I, sh I should have I should have got more vague with this. Okay, uh, my first appearance on screen was in April thirtieth, nineteen thirty eight. I was created by Ben Holloway. My voice was done by Mel Blanc from nineteen thirty eight. Are you a fictional character? Yes. Are you an animated character? Yes. Bugs Bunny. Fuck! I, I, I made that one too easy for you. <laughs> I am fucking awesome. I didn't even guess wrong. <laughs> Mel Blanc did that? Then, Mel Blanc is responsible yeah. for so many voices. Well, look at CNA, and, 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 and I didn't think about it at the time. I, I, and, Stay that close, dude. You sound so much better. Well, then you lean back. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the... The, 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 the game? Show, yeah, the game on the screen. Oh. But, uh... No, I because I have like I have uh, the first appearance was like I said 1938. The name of the if I would have said cartoon you would have known right there uh, was Porky's Hair Hunt. Porky, oh yeah. So that right there gives it away. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. It was Porky Pig was his first. Yeah, Porky's Hair Hunt. Was his co-host? Yeah. And again, if I would have said his nickname Bugs, his species Rabbit or Hair. I should have got more vague, but you can't really get vague with things like that. You know what I mean? And it had like a, you know, and like, again, I get everything I get off of Wikipedia and it tells you right there, you know, like some of the sites are good and then like some of the, some yeah, of but them, the facts that go along with no, that no, yeah, are it says. A really obscure, right? Like credits that are totally outdated, right? You know, like yeah, people says, I've never heard and of. And it says that. Or it's right up front. Like right. I like, right, I like fucking carrots. <laughs> you know what I mean? I spent most of my life running from somebody with a shotgun. <laughs> I mean, or <laughs> Mel Blanc was was my voice, you right? Know? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, and again, no one I ever hear it, so who knows? Word. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's gonna hear, and here's the news. <laughs> right. But now the news with Murray Flores. No, I think uh, I think it's going all right. Yeah. If I'm winning the game, it's gonna stay in. <laughs> that knows that's the rules, huh? Well, now I'm right. You're wrong. <laughs> if uh, <laughs> if it's a landslide against me, I'll probably edit it out. All right. I was born to a 16 year old runaway. Wow. My mother could not take proper care of me. I was left with religious family members. Are you a... Are you, are you <laughs> but I did not take to this lifestyle. Are you a teen mom? <laughs> My mother served time in prison for car theft, and I was arrested many occasions for the same crime. For car theft? Really? Wow. Are you... An, are you uh, again, are you an actress? So you have to be a singer then. Wow. What the hell was I don't know what I said, but you are following along the, the lines of this is a female I'm talking about. And that would be... Oh, now you're trying to just trick me up. No, I just told you, you I'm a man. Uh, right now. Well, yeah, now you did. Never mind. Okay. First time in 55 to Rosalie Willis. Ended in divorce in 57 while I was in prison. I remarried to Leona Stevens in 1959. This also ended in divorce, and I fathered a child from both relationships. So an actor, you have to be an actor from the 50s, then. You're limiting yourself yeah, without having, without asking the question. I know, that's why I'm trying to think of the questions that... that, that well, I'm, ask. I'm, well, let, give me a second, man! <laughs> you, did, you did movies? You didn't do movies. You did sitcoms? And you're, are you a musician? What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a...